Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the vlog. So this vlog is gonna be a super exciting one. I'm super excited to do it. I'm just brushing my hair out. We've been traveling all day, so it's about uh, 11 o'clock at night and we just got to our hotel. Like I said we've been traveling pretty much all day and I'm exhausted. Um, so this vlog is gonna be my honeymoon vlog. This, we're going on a cruise, a seven day cruise on the Mardi Gras, which is a carnival ship. And we were supposed to get married on this ship, but because of COVID that didn't happen. So now it's just gonna be a fun little cruise and I'm really excited about it. Um, we've had a lot of people cancel and stuff like that because of COVID and all the restrictions and stuff, which I totally understand. So right now it's just me, my husband and our son, my in-laws, some of their friends, like family friends, and then um, another one of my friends. So I'm really excited to be spending a week on the cruise. This is Jacob's first cruise, and so I'm just really excited to be able to spend it. We're gonna get, we're doing cooking classes together. We're gonna get couples massages. We have a lot of stuff planned and I'm really excited for it. And so I'm excited to bring you guys along. And this little hotel room that we're in right now, his parents paid for it for us. We have a little a conjoining room with his parents. So we're gonna eat pizza real quick because we haven't really ate dinner. And then we're gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. But I wanted to catch up with you guys. Um, I also wanna add in a little clip here on the plane. We have the best flight attendant ever and he was so fun i didn't get to show you like all of his things but there's somebody's birthday on the plane and he was so funny so i did record that and i thought it would be fun to share so i'm gonna throw that in here and also a little room tour of our little suite that we got okay i'll see you guys in the morning bye birthday. we're gonna turn down the lights for bit. so here's your birthday cake <laughs> For your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carson. Happy birthday to you. Now blow out your candles. Woo! Happy birthday. Have a great 21st birthday. We got a nice suite. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. We're only staying here for the nighttime, but let me show you this bathroom real quick too. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. And there I am. Hi guys. Someone decorated our room for us. It says happily ever after just married. That is so cool. That's so cute. Our room, so nice. So stinking nice. I'll do a, a room tour in a second. So I don't know if I explained this yet, but we were originally supposed to get married on this cruise. And we invited like all our friends and family. Like we had like a big group coming. But because of COVID, they canceled our wedding, gave us our money back, but we had already paid for the cruise and we already had people that were coming on the cruise. So we stayed going on the cruise and so we're just calling it our honeymoon, but we're just celebrating with our family. Like, I think I told you my in-laws are here, Jacob, I, um, some of their friends, and then one of our friends is here and we brought our son. And so we were thinking about bring, getting like decorations and stuff like that, but somebody, we don't know who, gave us decorations. And then Jacob's parents sent this yummy cake to us and it's I just touched it it's all icing it's completely icing it's so cute it says just married has little hearts on it so I'm really excited um we have been kind of just chilling we haven't even left like we haven't even got off the port yet it's um three o'clock on the 26th and um we will be leaving porting the port at five and we have dinner reservations at 5 30 so hopefully they bring our um there's a hair Hopefully they bring our lighter stream so I can change into something cute for our steakhouse dinner. So anyway, okay, that was cute. I wanted to share that. Bye. So we were wanting to get some of these cups anyway. It's okay, we were wanting to get some of these cups and they're like souvenir cups and they're 16 ounces. And we got one of the like, yeah, we got one of the soda packages so we can get like refills in this and get more soda. But 
I didn't realize the guy said this had alcohol in it. So now I have 16 ounces this of alcohol. Is a final call oh, this is our flying Dutchman. He's flying. There's a lot happening. Okay, so we're back in our room. It's about 8.30 and our son has to go to bed. So we had a really nice dinner. We made reservations at the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse on board and it was really, really good. I'll show you guys some clips of the things that we ate there. And honestly, like for what we paid, I think that it was a really good price. <laughs> Jacob's coming in from outside. So now we're just gonna chill. Um, we've had a really stressful like two days. So we're just gonna take it easy. Like I'm already in my pajamas. I'm gonna unpack and get everything unpacked and take a shower and then relax. We have a balcony that I wanna show you guys tomorrow that we're just gonna chill out on cause it's really nice and just hang out. So I'm really excited, but I wanted to check in with you guys and I won't be checking in again until tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning, bye. Good morning, guys. Um, I, my stringer doesn't work on the cruise for some reason, so I'm having to get creative with my hair, which I was not prepared for. So today we're doing these messy little um, buns, which I don't really love them, but um, it's fine. I just kind of wet that to keep it, ooh, there goes ship's rocket, to kind of keep it back because my bangs, you can see, and I don't have any bobby pins. So. Um, yeah, today's our first full day at sea. It's Sunday and I'm so excited. Um, I want to show you guys our balcony so that you guys can see. It's absolutely beautiful. I love just being able to look outside of the ocean and see it for days. Like it's really calming to me and it's really nice at night. I tried showing you guys last night but you can't see it so um, here. But then I'm going to also show you our room. Our room is so nice. I want to do a full tour but we have people in it right now. So um, yeah, I'm really excited and I will see you guys when we get to work. Okay, so here's a view of our room. There's me, hi. Um, when you walk in, it's right there and there's the bathroom. We have Gideon's bed right here. We have some closets. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful room. And then of course over there is our balcony, which I showed you guys already. This is so nice. Unfortunately, they said we couldn't film, so I didn't get any like clips of that, but it was so funny. I had a lot of fun. They're doing more showings, but Gideon has to go to sleep, and like I mentioned, oh, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't get any sleep. So I think Jacob went down to the casino, he's going to spend a little bit of money, and then he's going to come back up here. We're going to hang out on our balcony, and then probably go to sleep, because we're going to wake up tomorrow at 10 to go to Build-A-Bear with Gideon so that he can get a Build-A-Bear, so... Um, yeah, that was today. I'm sorry. I haven't been vlogging a lot. This, this trip just has been kind of chaotic at first and it's just, I'm, I'm trying to spend time in the moment but also get clips and stuff for you guys because I love vlogging. I love looking back on it but it's just been, it's just been a lot. So right now I'm sitting here. Um, well, I'm laying down in my room. I just finished the movie The Hate You Give which was so good. I really like that movie. Really, really powerful. And I'm gonna see what else they have on here and probably watch another movie and then go to bed because it's like 9.30 and 10 and for some reason I'm exhausted. So I will check with you guys tomorrow morning. Laser beam. 
What color laser beam best removes a red tattoo? It would be color A red feet, foot, inches. I don't use water machine. Okay. By the way, it's football. Okay? It's not what Asian nation is the world's largest producer of cashews? Yeah, North South Korea, China, Japan, Mongolia. Then you get the Philippines. Number 10. Okay, we are on half of the way. How are you doing? Probably not well. Who do you think? Oh, I missed one. I don't have a tip. Yeah? Who's winning so far? No. Woo! Oh, when his baby in the school has more. So Jacob and I are gonna go do ice pushing me our couples massage. We've been wanting to do this. Well, I've been wanting to do this pretty much the whole time. So we're doing it on a port day, and I'm really excited. It's we're gonna do a bamboo one, and I'm so excited. So I'll see if I can film in there. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but I'm excited. Hi, it's me again doing my hair. Um. I just want to say that this has not gone the way that I would have liked. It's been a very stressful last couple of days, a couple of hours, and honestly, like, I've done a lot of crying, um, which sucks because it's my honeymoon, but um, basically, Sunday or Saturday was just a day where we all relaxed because we had been traveling a lot, so we didn't do anything Saturday. Then Sunday, I didn't get to do anything because my mother-in-law was deathly ill and she was the one that was supposed to be watching Gideon, my son, and he had a really bad day. So we only got to go to like a couple minutes of the show that I showed you guys and then we had to come home. I did end up going to the casino for a little bit and I went to guest services to check out something. So I did do a little bit, but I didn't get to spend a lot of time with Jacob, which sucks, cause that's like we're on our honeymoon. And then um, today, I basically, Gideon didn't sleep at all last night, like at all. So we have been up since probably like 4.30 or 5. And um, we got into the port here, Nassau, at around like 5.30. And then we got off, we could get off at seven. So around that time I went and had breakfast. I, and then we went and got our massage, which I talked about earlier, and the massage was incredible. It was so nice. We did um, a couple's massage. It was like a bamboo one. It was so good, so good for both of us. And I'm really thankful that we did it, but we spent way too much money. And then Jacob went to some shoe thing clinic. And then we went and got ice cream. We also did trivia, which I think I showed you guys earlier, and so, I mean, we had a little bit better day today. It's about 4.44, that's a lucky number for me. And we will probably be going to dinner around um, 5.30, usually, usually when we've been going. And then tonight we do hopefully have some exciting things planned, um, like family feud and stuff like that. So we'll see. This is the easy way to French braid your hair. If you don't know how to French braid, this is how you do it. So, um, I wanted to catch up with you guys because I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of talking. Like I said, it's been, it's, it's so far it's been pretty chill, which unfortunately sucks. But, you know what, it is what it is. So, I will catch up with you guys probably at dinner. So I'm doing my hair right now, I just ended that clip and I wanted to talk about this. We got these outside of our door and it's talking about, um, the Ukraine stuff because there are people from all over the world that work on this cruise ship and they were saying like the people here that are from that area have nothing to do with what's going on and like that breaks my heart because I hope people aren't being mean to them and um it just says like we are doing what we can because those people are worried about their family and that breaks my heart to think that these people are you know not even able to to speak to their family be close to their family and be concerned that something is happening like that's so heartbreaking and so I'm just I'm glad that Carnival said something I guess and I'm glad that they're um, hopefully being accommodated we're leaving oh, yeah. this is so cool it's so beautiful that right there is a person he's waving he's on a little jet ski I don't really know what this is to be honest with you but that's there 
And then there's that lighthouse. This is the view from my balcony. <gasps> there's a rainbow! Oh my gosh, there's a rainbow. That is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. I'm. This is so cool. All the kids excited about the rainbow too. Okay, sorry the toilet's in the background, but good morning. I'm getting ready to leave. We have a Build-A-Bear workshop for my son in two minutes, and I'm running late per usual. Jacob already took him down there, so I'm just finishing up getting ready really quick, and then I'm gonna go down there. And then we also have a cooking class today, so I'm really excited for that as well. And today should be, today should be a good day. So let's get it started. Friends to choose from. I like oh, yeah. the ball, but my all-time favorite is still I love this carnival bear with the little carnival ears. They're really cute and adorable. Now once you pitch your friend, you then take them over. Oh, black cat! Oh, black cat! Get him, sweetie! He's got a cat in there. Look at that cater! Try to cater right here! And moment A! Bunny? The We just got back from, uh, we went and did the Build-A-Bear workshop with Gideon. And then we went and had lunch. And it's about 12.30 and I'm a sleepy girl. We have our cooking class at 2.30 and then we have bingo. And I'm really excited about it. And my camera lens did not open all the way. I hope that wasn't distracting, but um, yeah. So I'm probably just gonna lay here and take a little nap because I am tired. So I will catch up with you guys when we go to our cooking class. Okay, so Jacob and I did that cooking class and he ended up having to leave early to go do bingo. So then I ended up finishing the cooking class and then he went to bingo and I met him at bingo. And then now we're getting ready. It's about five. I'm gonna go down to the LGBTQ plus mixer and then we're gonna go to dinner at 5.30. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about everything. That's how I always end all these clips, I'm sorry. And I are gonna try alligator bites, which he says I'm gonna like it. Oh. What is the sauce? Just dip it. I'm scared, honestly. I get. I put a little bit too much spice on it. I don't love that. It tastes like chicken. You have it. It tastes exactly like chicken.
so I'm not even going to lie. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I don't even know what day of the trip this is, but Jacob and I slept literally almost all day. Like we got up a little bit earlier and went and got lunch because we woke up at like 11. We went and got lunch and I looked outside. We're at Amber, Amber Cove right now. I can't speak Amber Cove. And it's beautiful here, so beautiful, but we didn't get off again because Gideon can't get off. And so we just decided that we're not gonna get off. So we went and we had lunch and then we came back to the room and took a nap because Gideon did not sleep last night at all. And so that means we did not sleep last night at all. So his grandparents took him and we took a nap. We were gonna get up at three. It's now 5.30 and uh, we're just waking up. So I have to rush real quick to go get ready for dinner, which <laughs> my hair is a disaster. I'm probably just gonna throw it up. I need to wash it, um, but I don't wanna wash it yet. I'll probably wash it tomorrow morning. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I definitely need to wash it. It's starting to feel gross, but I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to just throw my hair up really quick and go to dinner. And then Jacob wanted to do karaoke tonight. So we may go do that. And then I don't know what else the evening holds for us. Today was a pretty chill day because like I said, we did not sleep. And uh, we needed the we needed the sleep. So we we slept longer than we wanted to. We were gonna go do stuff this evening, but we slept right through our alarms and everything. So we'll see. We'll see what today gets us into, and uh, I will check in with you if we do anything fun. My sister got me this fanny pack. Um, it was part of my Christmas gift that had like really amazing shampoos in it, and she's like, I think I can see you wearing it, and if you guys can see, it's like clear but iridescent. I love the way it looks, but I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to use a fanny pack. However, comma, I needed some more stuff for the clues for my travel and so I thought I'm gonna bring this just in case because I feel like I could use it for something and throughout the whole week I've been having problems with my camera because I've had it on a lanyard and it keeps falling and hidden and all this stuff and my camera was like $600 so I obviously don't want to break it and so I saw this sitting on the edge and I was like why don't I clear it out so I cleared out the family pack and now it's holding my masks my phone my sign and sale card and my camera and then I just put it on my pouch like this and I can roll and it's not in my way and I'm holding everything and it's cute as fuck. So very excited about this. I can't wait to get home and tell my sister that this is a really cool thing. I may continue using this after the cruise cause it's really convenient. So yeah, really like that. Um, she, this is just a Redken one. Like I said, it came with shampoo. She got it, she gave it to me for Christmas with Redken, Redken shampoo in it. But I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to share that because I'm really happy that I figured that out. So. And over, oh God, no. Okay. Teacher, what does yours say? Not tonight, I'm tired. Not tonight, I'm tired. And you can't say that, David. I'm going to say it for you. David's parent. Um, <laughs> we're going to play a game of guess the words. <laughs> The second word is you, you, and the first word rhymes with duck. That's all I'm going to say. So his parent says, duck you, and hers says, not tonight, I'm tired. <laughs> Thursday, which means it's time for our pizza class. 
um, I'm a little bit early to it. It's like 10.30 and our pizza class starts at 11. I'm really tired. I feel like I've slept so much, but not enough. Like I don't feel like I'm getting good sleep, which means I'm cranky and Jacob's cranky and Gideon's cranky and everyone's cranky. So today's been a fun little start of the day, but I did take a shower, wash my hair, which I can't style it. So it's just kind of doing its own thing. The lighting in here is really nice. Um, but I'm excited for this pizza class. I'm excited. I don't really eat pizza a lot. It's Jacob's thing, but he did the tailgate party with me, so that was my thing. But I'm excited to, to these cooking classes I feel like are really beneficial to us. Oh, my battery's dying. I have to go. I'll see you guys in the cooking class. Like this. 